What'd you think about the uh, the bet, brother? The bet between um, Canelo and Chavez for the for their entire purse. Are they, are they gonna stay? Are they gonna stay to the word or are they not? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's whenever the fight's all said and done. I think the, the deal could be swayed one way or another, you know, so I'm not too sure how it's going to go. I think it might be a bit of bravado and everything coming yeah, from yeah. the eye and all, you know, so nah, it's going to be, it's bringing more hype to the fight, you know what I mean? It's making the fight more exciting. People are starting, oh, they put their purse on the line, you know, they, but, you know, I think that's, that's selling the fight, you know, it's promoting the fight. But all said and done, I think there is bad blood there between the both of them. I think they really do want each other to really want to knock each other out <laughs> and really want to make a statement, you know. So I think you can see it in the both of them in the press tour already, you know. You know Canelo's very cold and stone faced towards him, you know what I mean? So you know, it's going to be a good fight, as I said, it's going to be a good fight for sure. I was going to say, I was talking to media members earlier, yeah. and we were talking, before the press conference, yeah, yeah, started, yeah. we were like, like the fact that Chavez speaks his language, you know what I mean, they speak the same yeah, language, yeah, it's yeah. not like Canelo's hearing it through an interpreter, yeah, yeah, and you course, know, like, it's like he knows what he means when yeah, he says it and exactly. stuff like that. Do you feel like that's why, kind of, Canelo's a little more uncharacteristic in this fight than well, you normally see him? It's, um, it's all about the pride and honor of being a Mexican, you know what I mean? You know, Mexican fighters are very proud, like the Irish, they're very proud, they're warriors, they're tough, they want to be the best. And um, I think these are the two best Mexican fighters out there in our era today. You know, so uh, there's definitely a lot, of, uh, a lot of tension and a lot of rivalry between them. And I think, uh, I think that's going to show come fight night as well. I think it's going to raise each other's game. Mm -hmm. I think the two of them are going to come and they're going to perform better than they've ever performed before because they know what's on the line. Mm -hmm. the, uh, what do you think about the weight issue? Yeah, as I said, you know, before <clears throat> about the weight issue, this is like everybody sees the size difference already in Canelo and Chavez. Chavez is a, definitely looks two weights above Canelo, you know what I mean? And naturally is. If Chavez can make the weight comfortably, discipline himself and do it right and come into the fight strong and fuel back up again and be strong come fight night, this is going to be a very tough fight for Canelo because he's not going to be able to bomb Chavez out of there because Chavez is a big, big lad and Chavez can bang as well. So this is going to be a great test for both fighters. I think Chavez is, is going to come disciplined because of what's on the line and because of the pride and the honor. You know, at the end of the day, this isn't just about money or a belt or anything. This is about pride and honor and this is more than money and more than a belt. Yeah, but how's camp, brother? You were about uh, a month away, or yeah, I think, a month right? away yeah. today. Yeah, 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 that's right. A month away today, you know. So I got another good rounds and sparring here today, doing loads of sparring, feeling. You see good. the eye, man. You're yeah, definitely yeah. getting some good sparring. Yeah, for sure. for sure. You know, this is part of the game. <laughs> you know, this is what it's all about. <laughs> it's about getting these little shots here and then, learning from them, and not letting it happen in the fight. You know, so uh, no, camp's been going great as always. You know, I'm always in shape, I'm always in the gym, I'm always staying nice and relaxed, nice and loose, staying in shape, staying ready, fine-tuning everything, perfecting everything, my strongest things, making them better, and the things that I'm good at, making them even better again. You know, so camp's been going great as always. Feeling good, feeling sharp, weights on point, everything's perfect, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, come fight night, no, it's going to be one hell of a night. Got the solid uh, war beard I was talking about earlier, man. You're gonna keep that? It looks it's coming it. in good right there. That's the, the Celtic warrior beard. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think a lot of people uh, refer me to Steve Collins <laughs> right, whenever yeah, they yeah, see yeah. me with it. A few people <laughs> were saying, I oh, hear like very like Steve Collins and everything. I'm like, well, I must be the goat here or something. You know? So, yeah, but now nah, this is. Uh, this is camp mode, you know, you're training, you're going home, you're eating, you're resting, you're sleeping, you've no time to pamper yourself and look after yourself, you know what I mean? So, no time uh, to go to your Manny Petty or That's it, no, <laughs> none of that, you know what I mean? So, uh, no, I just stay in focus, stay in shape and, uh, you know, there's just one thing on my mind, that's yeah, victorious man. on uh, March 23rd. Can't wait for March 23rd, brother. Appreciate your time as always. Appreciate man. it as Thank always. You.